today's job, I want to do a bit of an oil change on the Mini. Uh, it gets over service, but it needs doing. Also want to change the bonnet because the rust has got bad in it where it's stone chipped. Uh, needs a new grill, screws for the grill and a few other bits. Now the engine's already up to temperature, so it's just going to crack on with draining the oil. I'm not going to bother to take the sump guard off. I'm just going to deal with the mess in a bit. So while that oil drains, I'm going to whip the uh, whip the grill off because it. It rattles, I mean, it's not. You can see it's got a bit of play in it because it's never had the right amount of screws in around the trim um, and the grill. So I've got some new stainless screws to go in and stop it vibrating about and come off it anyway because uh, it's easier to get the oil filter off. So, like I say, taking the grill off just allows me to get the oil filter off a lot easier. There's the old screws, two, four, six is that. I mean, if you compare it to the new ones, how many there are, it shouldn't rattle about. So, oil filter off, new filter on, rear refitted with the proper screws, stop it rattling about. I'm sure a lot of mini owners recognize a sump plug looking like a Christmas tree. Mini life. What I want to do just before I take the filter off is I want to put a couple of slugs with some fresh oil in there with the sump plug out just because the car's not at enough of an angle to get the remaining bit of oil out. So putting that in, give it a few minutes, it should start emerging out this end in a bit. Here it comes. Push the last of the old oil out in case there's any bits of whatever in there. Another thing I want to do is take the rocker cover off. It doesn't have to come off, but a little rod, like you can see on that one, has I assume vibrated out, but it's like most mini bits, aftermarket bits, some of the quality is. Uh, questionable to say the least so new couple of t-bars to go in smarten it back up and a general tidy up it's been playing through snow and all sorts so yeah could do a bit of a clean these haven't been over tightened or anything it's just the quality of them ones I've got, I believe are a slightly different design where these are straight, the other ones sort of bend up. I suppose that one could be a spare. There you come. I don't know where the other bit went, I had a quick look for it. Gone. Oh, a bit of a tap. There you go. Ooh, will it come off without that bracket coming off? It should do. He says. Now, this is a camera down moment. Comes off fairly easy. Chance to give it a bit of a clean up. Yeah. Lovely. So clean that up, wax it back on. Like I say, slightly different design. We'll point upwards these ones. 
as opposed to being straight like the old ones were. But at least I've got two handles on each side now, so cool. So I'm gonna do now, the oil filter, prime it and put it on. One of them. I'll get that ready to go on. Sump plug in, clean the sump plug, new copper washer, and then you can be topped up. No filter on, sump plug's clean, and it's got a new copper washer. On that goes. So I had like a half empty old, uh, well not old, it's new, but half empty new oil. Drain that in, then put the old junk into that. So while that's doing that, I can finally get this grill on properly. Um, not sure what grill and for the edge, like so the little caps. Now with a bit of luck, I won't have a rattly grill on idle. That's solid compared to what it was. Well, it's solid. <laughs> um, new T-bars, all wired up. Had a quick uh, engine service, haven't done the coolant. That was done not long ago. Um, next thing I wanna do is replace the bonnet. As you can see, I mean, that's even got an actual hole there. You can see right through. Stone chips under this would be rotten. Um, that doesn't need to come off because I've got a new one. So I've got a new one and I've got a new bonnet to go on. So quickly whip this off and put the new one on. Fortunately, they've been brand new. It's already been painted, but that's in old English white. The actual car is champagne. They're not, it shows up on camera looking vastly different, but to the guy, it's not as dramatic as that. It's different, but not that much. So I'm gonna get it painted, um, but I'll put it on because this one's getting really bad. So I've got to swap over um, like the safety latch, the catch, and the stay. Like I say, I've got a new trim, which can go on. Put it on there. Put it on. Other weather strip off of up here. Haven't taken this off yet. I've unscrewed it because I've swapped the screws to the other bit of trim on the new bonnet. Yeah, she's run. All the way along. Just got to align that one now. We got a new face. Is it a face? I haven't fitted this yet. Sort of shut. It's definitely not shut. It's not shut. Rust free. So yeah, one new bonnet. It is adjusted so it fits and closes, but I'm not gonna fit the stay. I'm not gonna play around too much with the um, adjustment it's there it's not I'm not happy with it basically because I'm gonna get the vertical hinge kit ordered and get that fitted but for now let's just get rid of this again for now I've got a bonnet see from here oh, where are we that gap Look how close it is there compared to there, but like I say, I'm not mucking about adjusting it with uh, them hinges because they're coming off. But it's on. So when I ordered these, I didn't realise they were going to overnight them. So they came a bit quicker than I thought. Oh, let's have a go in here and have a quick look at them. But certainly not feeling them tonight because it's way too cold but yeah they're um, vertical hinges from 
mini version. I believe they fit a club and a saloon. Yeah. Two hinges, two gas struts, bracket, instructions maybe, no, advert. So yeah, the idea is, from what I've seen, instead of the bonnet being sort of at an angle and sort of crouched over getting in, pop it, pull it away, and it goes literally directly up against the windscreen. Well, not against the windscreen, but as it says, vertical, so. Yeah, but that is does definitely a job for another day because um, it's snowing and it's cold. But, yeah.